Alright, hello everyone, Tony Scaponi here, and we're going to be having a ton of fun, because we are going to be playing Bonus Round, Ruby Storm, but I am going to be testing a Blue Splash today. I've played a couple of leagues with it. Um, it's a lot of fun. It seems to be um, probably on the exact same power level as Mono Red, maybe. I mean, the idea is... Uh, that maybe you're a little better against Delver because you have some cantrips so you don't get kind of stuck as often with these three drop hands and just lose to a singleton wasteland. We do still have, as you see, Mono Red has seven mountains, right? We still have three basics and four fetch lands, so we still have that resiliency. Um, we're not taking damage from Shattered Skull Smashing. Uh, like I said, we're cantripping to, to smooth things out a little bit more. So it, it should, in theory, be a little less clunky. It did feel um, probably just that. Like, it, it it felt very good when I played it. I didn't feel like I was losing all that much by playing blue, and it was nice to have the cantrips. They also work well with relay. They work well with bonus round. Um, you know, it's you get to reduce some of the bigger spells you get to just kind of trim so that you have less hands that just have like double bonus round or i mean sometimes double of one of these cards is good but for the most part uh reducing the amount of three drops in your legacy deck is is a pretty good thing and we still have a very high density of them uh enough such that ruby medallion is very effective so it's uh it is a blast to cast and copy ponder and brainstorm or to be casting these spells uh, for Relay. So, um, but yeah, it's a very similar deck composition as a Mono Red build. Like I said, we have all the same suspects, basically. There's no Inspired Tinkering in the main. I'm not running Iteration in the main. Uh, you certainly could. It may even be correct, probably in the Ponder slot, just like playing two of those, maybe... I don't know, coming down one of the Reckless Impulse and playing it, or just playing two in the main. Two is probably a good number, um, but I, I do have one in the side, because it is a reasonable value target at a two-mana spot. Um, so we have that there, we're testing that. Uh, as far as the rest of the sideboard, it's very similar to what it was before, except in the like Blast Zone slash Extra Confluence slot. We just now have access to Echoing Truth, which is just a really uh, solid removal piece. So uh, we're going to be testing that. Otherwise, the deck is the deck is largely the same, um, but it's just I don't know. It's a bit. It's very fun. I am someone who builds cantrips that, generally speaking, don't have cantrips or builds cantrips, builds uh, storm decks that generally don't have these cantrips. Um, when I play, I used to play a lot of fair blue. I got sick of casting them, uh, but now since I don't cast them all that often, it's nice to cast the brainstorm or ponder every now and then. So that's what we're doing. Let's uh, jump into a league. I'll see you in the first round. Okay, here we are in round one. We lost the die roll against Wiltron ninety two. Let's see what they rolled. They rolled a six. Whoa, coming in hot. We rolled a four. Not bad, respectable, but. We didn't beat a six, so we're here on the draw with a reasonable hand. Immediately we can see uh, kind of a consistency in that Wish is not even great here, but I still feel okay about this hand because if we need, we can get a basic island, we can ponder. I think uh, this relay is actually looking pretty decent. Turn one brainstorm off of Watery Grave. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. We'd probably take the relay, but it's really not doing much against this hand. We might reanimate next turn. Death Shadow's been running a lot of grief lately. But they took the pedal. Interesting. Alright, so we can get our basic, like we talked about. I think it's definitely worth at least casting one of these. Are we going to daze it? No. Um, We can keep these. I don't think we want that land. Yep. The question is, do they take Bergy, or do they just take the Relay? They take the Ponder. Okay. Uh, we'll just pass. They have three cards. They're going to start pressuring us. I guess at this point we take the Mountain, right? Could jam Bergy, but 
I'm gonna at least try to play around days. Hardcast grief, okay. It's pretty good. Alright, the tech burgy. Don't know why they're not afraid of this relay. Red flame? Bonus round. Hmm. Life total is dwindling. I think we're supposed to just cycle these basically. Could wish into red flame from the board. Then they just counter the second one. It plays around a singleton daze, unless they daze the first try to flame. They might not even have counter magic. I think that was an F6. Four. I think that was an F6. Holy crap, it was. Wow. Okay, they're just going to let us go off here. Big mistake, OP. Big mistake. Okay. We can almost kill them with double fiery confluence. They go to one. We can pass in flames. That looks like it is going to kill them. They discarded us so much. And uh, just didn't matter. Did not matter one bit. Okay. And now we fire your confluence. <laughs> Got him. One, two, nice triple grief. Let's see, Death Shadow. I don't think we want to do anything. Just leave it. I think that was a good example of Blue Red being a little better against Tempo. Of course, they had no permission. They just had a bunch of discard. Wow. I mean, the power level through the roof. Let's see if they'll let us get away with it. Nope. They might risk it, though, and go for Petal. Actually, I think they have to. Or not necessarily. They really don't have to if they have a force. Yeah, that makes me feel like they have a force. Two, three, four, five, six. See if we can bait out a daze. Yeah, they took it. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, if they want Thoughtseize again, fine. Yeah. It's okay. We still have a good mix of action and mana. They don't... Well, Thoughtseize doesn't, like, leave us stranded. Now we get to Reckless Impulse. Ooh. I think I'm still going to Reckless Impulse. Hmm. Maybe not, huh? Yeah. I am. Hopefully we find a blue source. But, I mean, it's not the only thing that helps us here. You gonna force this? Okay. We had a blue source. And some action. OP ponders. Yeah, we got wastelanded. Alright, alright, alright. Make a land drop. Right of flame? Another right of flame? They have a force. This is probably where they should force. Surgical on my right of flame. Okay. That's fine. I already made a land drop, so if we play this, we're really just trying to hit pedal. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we have one miscounted. All right, I'll cast it. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Just the fact that we hit anything. Wow. All right, so let's hide. Relay Ruby. I'll end up having to shuffle the relay. We can't use Morphos Burning Wish next turn. Those will be gone. Maybe Relay is just not really going to get there. So that's fine. Actually turned out to be a very good play. I mean, it was desperate, the whole surgical thing, but... I think it's clear they don't have a force. Although, if it were me, I may very well not force that Jessica's will, so who knows. I can always just draw one. They are at eight. They make a murky tide. And they grief us. And they do go hellbent. Um, I hope they take ponder. It looks like they should take ponder. Hmm. So, I don't think we can afford to keep this relay. Fetching does. I mean, we're going to have to use it either way. It's going to be a basic island. Let's ponder. We can keep fetch and then fetch next turn. Reckless impulse. Or we can just shuffle this. Shuffling feels risky. So, what is keeping? They both give us two unknown. Basically. Uh oh. So we go to eight. Not good enough. Alright, game three. It's close. Keep it. <clears throat> so play land and pass. They've had turn one thoughts these every game, I believe. Or maybe grief. I mean that is a lot of discard, but disappointing. We took bonus round. 
don't think they're supposed to take bonus round there, but, um, God, if I knew the seething zone would go through, can't get dazed, the force would be devastating, can we just relay for three, if we rimpulse into dazed and they thought C's relay were done, I think I'm just going to relay, those put a lot of pressure on these relay cards, another relay, brainstorm's very good, Wander, Wander shuffles. Um, that's not gonna work the way you want it to. You also want to do it on my draw step, if anything. Uh, let's them play Death Shadow. Uh, okay, this is a good draw. So they do have a force. That sucks. Cash in this brainstorm. I think we're okay. I don't think I should have played that song, but. I don't know. The the surgical play made me feel like they may not have a force. It just seemed like a desperate play. Make sure you want to get a clock on, but I don't know. So now they only have one card. Let's go Ruby. Pay a life to play Rimpulse. We know Brainstorm's on top, so I'm very much interested in getting access to it. And a Burning Wish. Nice. So opponent is currently in trouble. They're also at 10. Why are they thought seizing? Oh, okay. I I mean, I guess the wish is actually not terrible, but not great. Oops. Let's brainstorm. Oh, baby. Hmm. Let's do it. They're F6. So, sorry, Confluence doesn't quite do it. Two, three, we don't have enough. We can almost grape shot. We passed in flames. One, three, no right of flame. We can tinkering. I don't want them play around days though. Let's go with let's go right of flame. Burning wish. I think I just want to relay. Could make goblins, which probably wins. But I'm gonna relay. Because we know Ruby Ruby Medallion's on top. And this we are in a post board match, so they could have Ratchet Bomb. That's why I didn't want to make goblins. We could have went for Past in Flames. Which honestly was probably correct. They only had one card. It did feel pretty obvious they had nothing. I don't want to get caught by a sandbag. Okay. So they put us to one. Okay, let's see. They have one card. Let's cast Red Flame, because uh, we're probably going to use Horn. Maybe we aren't. Yeah, I think I'm actually going Bergy. Petal. Draw a card first. Not a good one. Uh-oh. It's only a draw three now. Okay. We did not whiff. Not even close to whiffing. Draw six. Oh, they're at five. They are at five, so we will just kill them. Get a fiery confluence, get a grape shot. Got him. All right, see you in round two. All right, we are back in round two against Wolf 2222. Playing blue, red, ruby storm. This hand is fine. Let's keep. It's worth noting you do get the advantage of looking like a blue deck, a fair blue deck. Uh oh. So this looks like initiative. Turn one white plume. Uh, I think we actually, we most likely have this beat. I guess we play that one. They're likely dead, unless they do something disruptive. Although if they go Thalia, we'll probably have enough time to just go Volcanic Ruby, Dal Ruby Medallion number two. Archon would probably be game for us. Peacekeeper is weird. The best way to describe it for me. What do you name here? Metamorphose? If you name Bergy, I mean, I'm probably going to Horn. If you name Horn, if I draw action, then I could just get to go Bergy. The thing about Horn is it's actually quite good against Horn. So I'd have to pay two every time I activated. Honestly, I feel like Horn is really the only thing that makes sense. No, they go with Bergy. So that's going to do virtually nothing. The question is, 
how much resources do we expend? Uh, that's a card you want to flip into with horn, but how much of our resources do we want to expend prior to this horn? Like we could cast another ruby. Ruby is pretty much like casting Rite of Flame, except it makes, yeah, it's actually better. It will likely wind up better. Although we're probably going to have to cast the Rite of Flame anyways, but it's okay. Let's play Ruby. Um, yeah, I guess I'm thinning. We're dead next turn either way. Metamorphos. A red. A blue, I suppose. Burning Wish. Interesting. So it's actually just cost three again. It's pretty funny. We can go Rite of Flame, Burning Wish, Rite of Flame. Do we have a Past in Flames line? Two, three, two, four, two. Inspired Tinkering costs three. Could just cast Brainstorm. Horn costs three. Horn is only getting us four cards. We could empty. Oh, that's interesting. I think I want to just brainstorm. Yeah, let's brainstorm. Oh boy. It's a good thing I brainstormed. Holy crap. Um, so this is probably just to reforge the soul. Yeah, let's put horn back. Put... It doesn't matter. Let's go right of flame. Seething song. Impulse. Lotus petal. Oh, uh, we should have actually played Bergy. Mm. No, no, it'd be nice to have access to Horn. Yeah, Past and Flames only gets us one, two, three, four cards. Three Forge only costs three. Okay. And the Right of Flame back to three. Bonus round down to one red. Three, four. No, it costs three. We have one open. Yeah, so we go Rite of Flame, then we go Horn. This so Horn only costs three. Horn is not Bergy. And now we have one mana open, and we have two active rubies. So we get all sorts of three drops that are just going to win the game. Like so. I get to add seven red. <laughs> we can Solitude if they want. Sure. I'll take five. Let's go bonus round. It's actually worth it to just cast this bonus round from hand. Take some more mana. More mana. More mana, please. Thank you. Play the Berg. Burning Wish. Okay, Confluence. Yeah, Grape Shot. Decline. I suppose I'll get past the flames. And get him with lethal. Six, twelve, eighteen, bang. All right, moving on to game two. Let's bring in Echoing Truths. We have Confluence in the board. That's about it. We dodge a lot of the hate. We just don't want to see Archon. In which case, we probably want this. Well, no, we, we might wish for it. All right, so these come in. Probably no time to be pondering. Let's go. I will say, adding Brainstorm and Ponder does open ourselves up a little bit more to Chalice on one. But still, Chalice does almost nothing against us. Okay, this hand really folds the Chalice and is otherwise not even that good. This opens on a Ruby. Does not have removal. They kept on 7. Don't think we can keep this. I mean, this is somewhat medium as well, but I will keep. I bottom the cards that really take more of a density, uh, you know, a certain number of cards in our hand to, like, actually function. So turn one white plume, putting the pressure on, and that's it. Once again, we go up to four, cast both of these. Nah. I'm going to play the Ancient Tomb. I'm going to play my petal out. If they, if they do play Archon of Myria, this comes in to play Tapped if that's in play. So you want to play this first, and then play around Chalice, Spellbinder. All right, I don't think they're on the Archon build, which is really good to know. Two, four, 
We're at 15. We're about to take 13, which means we'll only be able to use this once. Just ridiculous. This does next to nothing. Interesting. Red, blue. Ancient Tomb was not a good draw. Right of Flame. Burning Wish. Get and cast Right of Flame. Relay for six. I mean, that's that's what I got. We did not hit a Ruby Medallion. We did hit a Bergy. Can't use Ancient Tomb. Oh, we're just dead? Wait, how did we die? Did I just miscount? 8, 13, we're at 15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did I think? Wow. Why do I even think? Damn. We probably would have pulled it off. I mean, who knows? They didn't play anything. I'm sure they have something in their hand. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's run it back. Sure. The sand is fine. Absolutely fine. Spellbinder and um, Anointed Peacekeeper don't really do much to this hand. I kept on seven. Uh, Loran would be obnoxious. Ancient Tomb Pass? Huh. Pretty suspect. Solitude? Sure. Gain some mana back. Hopefully we draw a castable. Hopefully we can go Bergy into something Relay. That's obnoxious. They have four cards. Burning Wish was very good. Let's try again. Oh, no Solitude. Otherwise they wouldn't have been F6th. Of course. Why wouldn't they have Caracas? Uh, okay. Two, four. They're certainly still in it. Their Caracas is tapped. That's a good one. Hmm. So let's go Berg into Brainstorm. Land, Rite of Flame, Petal. Okay. So three, two, four, two. We can't double relay. I don't think we want this Ancient Tomb. Take the Scalding Tarn. Get Valk. Cast Burning Wish. We get Rite of Flame. Cast Rite of Flame. And cast Relay for five. Now it's not even necessarily good to Caracas the Bergy. Wonder if they're gonna go into the Lost Well. They don't seem to have a highly disruptive build though. It's for five. Two of them are lands. A lot of mana though. Burning Wish, Rimpulse. Well, they did go into the Forge. Rollmox imprinting nothing. Okay. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> I don't think there is. So I'm pretty sure it starts from Ancient Tomb, right? It's for five, not six. Because, yeah, that's the Burning Wish we used. I believe we have... Uh, this will have... They're going to hit us for five. So we'll be able to use two Ancient Tombs. Two, four, six, that's seven mana. I wonder if they bounce Bergy. There's so much mana. If they do bounce Bergy and we want to use Bergy, we're gonna. They name Seething Song. Probably not enough. I think that makes it so we have to cast Seething Song first. Our Seething Song doesn't actually net mana at that point. Battle's pretty good though. Okay, now they have one card in hand. And they seem to be F6. So now Song nets one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Why was the Rim Pulse first? Six, seven, six. Oh, yeah. Play Ruby. Play Bonus Round. Play Burning Wish, which is now free, and we get two of them. We can now pass them flames. This one can get Tinkering. Let's cast Tinkering. It's our graveyard. Tinkering gives us a bunch of treasures. We have won the game. I think should we cast a double brainstorm? <laughs> They've had enough. All right, we are undefeated. See you in round three. Okay, here we are in round three, and we have a unkeepable hand. Uh, we're playing against O Golden. This hand is reasonable. I'm going to bottom bonus round. 
you really got to build up some resources before you move into bonus round, especially against the blue deck. Most people are playing blue decks, as they are here. Well, most likely. Might be something else. So I'd rather just kind of keep the stable cards. We're just going to slowly add value, and then at some point just pop off. Let's get our basics here. And I am just going to cast one of these. We'll just test the waters. If they only have a short amount of interaction, they might just hold it. Unless it's like a spell pierce or something. Brainstorm's fine. Ooh, man. That's real good. Nice wasteland. I don't care too much about Thoughtseize. I suppose they can play... Yeah, they can take Petal and daze my Metamorphose. Not if we hit right of Flame. I think if they want to force this, they can. Okay. That's fine. Maybe we should have just taken our relay. But then they have their force. So I kind of like how it turned out. Not a bad draw. I'm not going to play it, though. Well, I guess we could walk into days, huh? No, I'm still not going to play it. It's got a wasteland, too. No days. And the reason you don't necessarily want to play land first is if you hit two lands. Because then you're not going to have a good time. Uh, can we go? Uh, okay. I mean, so once again, you have the option of just relaying, right? But then they still have their force. I mean, it's one thing when your relay is bigger. And it was getting close to that point, right? But now, once again, they used another force. And we do have another Rimpulse coming up. Nice little land drop. Do I want to use it now? I don't think so. I think I want to essentially save it for Storm for this relay. I've seen a lot of Death Shadow. Okay. Let's fire off the Brainstorm. Hmm. It's not the greatest. It's nice that we have three basics. Hopefully we can get away with this one. One of the benefits of, going, of just continuing to go for the high-risk play when you have a well of high-risk plays that can keep going on, is when they run out of gas, it's actually obvious. So now, it, like, we know they don't have it, right? They could draw into it, they could draw cantrips and find it, but we know they don't have permission left, especially when they have a Delver, because that starts telling you, too. What are they going to do? Not reveal a force? <clears throat> okay, that was a good pickup. Let's go Song. There's no way you've been holding on to a force. No way. Okay. There we go. Bonus round. A petal. A burning wish. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. We're just crushing tempo. Maybe this blue-red is really that much better against tempo. It does take some of the clunkiness out. Uh, Yeah, we're just gonna... I'm just gonna run it back. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Sure. We'll ponder Rooney. Well, it looked like a shuffle. They did indeed shuffle. Untapped Watery Grave go. Okay. Go for Basic Mountain, play a Bergy. They could have days, but they don't always have days. They did have days. And the thing is, if they don't have days and they have force, then they feel compelled to force it. That's when you're in a good spot. Plus, it tells you they don't have days. Okay, land. Interesting. Hmm. This is kind of risky, but I'm going to go for it. Are you going to force Bergy? Okay. I hit Petal right of Flame. Ponder. Ponder doesn't really get there. But I'll cast it. Uh, yes. Life total is definitely dwindling. They have three cards left. Ruby. I'm just going to relay. And get through those ones. Really need a way to make more red. Need a Seething Song. Anamorphos. They're at ten life. Jeez. Let's play a Rimples. Okay. Petal. And we're tapping an Ancient too many ways, so we might as well play Ruby. Oh, wait, are we just dead? Shit. So they can take three more. We got a one. If anything that makes them lose even one life, we're just dead. Shit. 
Shit, 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 shit. Messed up. We're probably dead. Okay, well... Alright, we post the one. Play Delver. Play up two cards. I mean, if they have a force, that's it. <laughs> it's pretty obvious you're supposed to force this. Yep. Boink. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me. I was not supposed to tap Mansion Tomb. Not sure how much of a line we had if we didn't, though. I'm going to have to go back and look. All right, game three. Uh, okay. I think this is a turn one brainstorm to avoid days. That's not good. I probably should have put brainstorm on the top to avoid those stupid, like, oh, I'm going to surgical your cantrip right off the bat. Hmm. Or ponder. Nope. Uh, I'll play it. Wow, just snap resolved. Damn. What is in their hand? I mean, there's a lot to choose from. Wasteland could be devastating. That's what we're looking to dodge here. To Pergi Island, okay. That does not destroy a land. Still at a healthy 17. Untapping with Ruby Medallion against four cards. With all this gas. Let's go right of flame. Let's go Morphos. Let's go. Blue, red, okay, let's go brainstorm, put these away, oh brainstorm, you're beautiful, just the way you are, let's go Rimpulse, oh, that's pretty good, you could burning wish, and then just relay, I think I'm going to brainstorm though, either way, this relay is very good, Okay, those are also very good. We know they don't have anything, so we can keep going. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, it it doesn't. They I they had one unknown draw. They did. They street wraithed. Unless they just you know, like f six and said eh whatever. I'm not gonna counter Ruby anyways. I don't know. That I I honestly I don't know. You know what's happening. <laughs> But it's fine. We have a Burning Wish on top. We have a Stocked Graveyard. Pretty sure they just die right now. And even if they don't, we can at least relay for a ton. I believe there's a land on top, though. I wonder if we can avoid that. They're at 13. Could have last card Surgical. Uh, that doesn't really matter. I guess they could hit Metamorphose, but that's fine, too. So, I'm going to do this, get it in the graveyard, and as a ritual, we'll make red, red, actually, the burning wish. Could also just tinkering into relay. Might just win off of the tinkering. This is bigger. Um, I guess I'll play the island so I can take less damage. Let me play past in flames. And then we cast right of flame. One metamorphose, red, blue. Uh, <laughs> they've had enough. <laughs> oh man, still undefeated. See you in round four. Okay, here we are in round four, undefeated against Slow Bros. And this hand is not capable. It's close. This hand is a little bit risky, but I'll keep. Hello, Red Storm Master. Hi. Hey, -o. Good luck. Okay. Land. So, opponent kept on seven. Saga. Bobble. Bobble. Pedal. Containment Construct. Okay. Interesting. So... We can song bonus round brainstorm, double brainstorm, and we'll have some mana left over. Um, yeah, that's probably best here. Oh, I guess I didn't need to play land, huh? Yeah, we may have needed that. Hmm. All right, we're hoping to hit like, geez, I don't know, right of flame and reckless impulse. 
That's a reckless impulse. Okay. It's not the worst. Not the greatest, but not the worst. Um, what do I want in my hand? I guess I want the eyelet in my hand. So that we hit less lands off of this Rimpulse. Maybe Ponder Ponder. The problem is we're probably dead. Very likely we're dead here. Yep, that's an Echo. They can frontside it too. Or are they going to? Looks like they opted not to, which I think is wrong. Good for us. I would have if they frontsided it, I would have just scooped. I'm not sure I'm convinced with the whole hollow one thing. I mean it's cute. Yeah, and here they are passing, right? Although I wouldn't attribute that necessarily to Hollow One here. They should have frontsided their echo. Or they just gave us a win. There's no way we don't win here. Okay, so let's go. Ruby. There's no Bergy. Jessica's will's too risky. So if they start, yeah, another F6 in. So now we can take advantage of it. Whoops. Because they use their LED, although if they use their LED, they probably just lose anyways, so... Take these out, um... More force, take blue mana... I guess we shouldn't play those in case we find horn. I'm gonna shuffle that. Will's fine, but the other two not so much. Play this ponder. There we go, there's a bonus round. Bonus round action. This game has gotten out of control. Officially. First round again. And we're not going to play with our food. We'll just go get uh, Fiery Confluence. Yeah. All right. Game two it is. A... Yeah, we bring in Ley Lines. We'll probably afford to get rid of Wish. Don't necessarily have the time to be pondering... Relay could be a bit dicey in the draw as well. Honestly, on the draw, I think we just have to have a ley line. They did mulligan. Okay. Um, let's keep... Let's bottom Bergy. Got our ley line. Hopefully that shuts them down long enough. They do have these side plans, but they take time, and within that time, we can hopefully just kill them. Mechanic. Do they have another land? Are they going to have to blow these petals to make constructs? It's actually worth a lot of time to us if they do have to. They're going to gamble. Why they for like Void Snare? I didn't see it. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. You can exile it from your graveyard. Yeah, it doesn't work. I guess, I mean, they gambled for... They just 50 50 For Ancient Tomb. Okay, and they hit it. Alright, good play. Um, okay, so we have one more draw after this, right? Um, yeah, even if they're running Shadow Spear, that doesn't really matter. Sorry, my TV was almost turning off, which has my other screen on it. I had, like, some message coming up. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm just trying to think of, like, what could come out of this saga that we care about. I don't really think much. I suppose, like, an Aether spell bomb. Like if we were to play Bergy Pass, otherwise we can go Seething Song, Bergy, Rim Pulse. We can even go Seething Song, um, Horn. We could just Rim Pulse. Yeah, that gives us the most information as to what to do next turn. Whoa. All right, that's really good. Those were very good draws. Yeah, they got the beat down coming. They could have a Haywire Might. They should have a Haywire Might. However, at this point, they're not going to have a... Okay, so they do have Spell Bomb. Don't think it's going to be enough here, though. We don't necessarily have a ton of action, right? I guess we can go... We can go Petal, Song, Horn. I mean, these are just so good with Horn. Petal, Song, Horn. And we do have two mana. It's a little bit dicey. No. Oh. Let's go... Let's go with a Bergy, probably re -bergy. We do, if we go Berg and Petal, we can't respond with this stuff. But if we go Song, and we go Berg, and we go Petal, in response to their Spell Bomb activation, or we, we go Petal, and then, oh, they're just not even going to bother. 
as they see it already okay well in that case we'll cast this one are you gonna do it now go blue blue that was a draw go rainstorm hole breacher are you kidding me what the fuck yo um <laughs> That is gross. So we lose. Like really? That was their draw. They had no cards. They had one draw. They drew Hull Breacher. That is like infinitely tilting. <laughs> and then we have to put these on top. I mean, I guess I should have seen that, right? But really? Really? All right, game three. Uh, all right, so we're on the play. It's pretty much, I mean, we, we could, like, do Echoing Truth things, I guess, but I don't think I want to. Should probably just have Fiery Confluence in the main, but I'm not gonna. We'll keep it as is. We will speculate. We're going to speculate on this Brainstorm. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should mull to a Ley Line. But since they know we have ley lines, they might, uh, they're in that position where, like, I would know because I play these decks where you're not always just, like, mulling to a nice echo hand. You might even mull an all in seven that's just an all in echo hand, right? Plus, the nice thing about this is if they do echo and whiff, we probably win. You know, breakthrough? I don't know, this seems dicey. I mean, I guess they have the bobble redraws. They get the bobble redraws, and then they get the Saga thing going. But I'm feeling pretty decent about this. Metamorphose, please. Hmm. I'm going to use one of these. And I'll run Pulse. So they're dead next turn. If they don't kill us here, they are dead. You do have to watch out for Hull Breacher. I don't care about this fair bullshit. Oh, come on. Right, so we're probably dead. Mm-hmm. All right, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I've got Riddlesmith. So now they're going to be digging quite a bit. Dig, 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 dig. They only have four cards. That's a pretty good one. Here comes another Echo. And a Hull Breacher. I, well, you do have these. I'm being completely honest, I'm still very salty about last game. <laughs> I want to bash my head into the wall. Preferably a metal wall. If I didn't have these in exile, I would have scooped. And now that they have construct, pretty sure we're dead, but let's see. Let's see, in a perfect world, we hit Seething Song. It's grape shot for fourteen. Nothing is haste. They passing. We can tap our ancient tune. And they have two grape shots. Okay. All right. See you in the final round. Okay. Here we are in the final round against GN forty two. We are fighting for that four one. Fighting the good fight. Uh and. Uh, I'm going to speculate for science. For science. Harn, go. So there's a pedal out there. Ruby. Okay. Ooh. Get wasted, brah. Ooh. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Oh, yes. Um. Hmm. To let's put Ruby down and put one of these brainstorms down. Play pedal. Get a basic. Play right of flame. We've just been risking it for the biscuit. It. Um, no, it's brainstorm. They probably heard somewhere that you're supposed to counter brainstorms. Hmm, it's pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Uh. We could really risk it, but I'm not going to think we've gotten risky enough, considering this sequence started with Lotus Petal as our only mana source, and we wound up with uh, land 
plus Lotus Petal with a relay for six. I'd say this was pretty good. Hmm, we are still dangerously low on mana. Holy shit. So I think they just maybe don't have anything. Mana, please. Thank you. Yeah, we have to cast this. Jeez. Um, okay, so now we go land. Burning Wish. Hope their last card is in days. Right of Flame. It's literally fucking days. Come on. Like, how do you go that whole past sequence not casting spells? <laughs> All right. And now we get Wastelanded. They flip a bolt. Holy shit. Oh, we do have a Ruby in play. Jeez, that relay was rough. Like, six pieces of action. Like, just six top-end pieces of action. Just insane. They drew another Wasteland, too. I'm just... I mean, I I zoned out for a second there. What's next? So they have a Bolt. What's the next best thing that they could have? Because they have it. They have a Spell Pierce. These don't do anything. Or two of them don't. I guess I should have held one for Brainstorm. Yep, and we drew it. Wow. We're about to get punished. Could have had two cards in our hand. Could have had two cards that didn't do anything <laughs> okay yeah, we had to find like morphos into something jeez this is the third tempo match there's been two death shadow and this a white initiative and the riddle storm deck okay here we are down a game and it's risky i think i'm gonna rim pulse I mean, yeah, you want to force me and then wasteland me? Go for it. Nope. Gonna cast this brainstorm. Gotta get power blasted. Okay. Now they find a wasteland. They don't. Shock and Delver. Brainstorm. Force it. That's fine. Basically using it as a thought seize. Or duress. So when you start going off, it's looking like we may very well not beat even a singleton days. Who knows? That brainstorm could have locked us up. Mm-hmm. Not a bad draw. Well, hopefully we have enough time to relay. Getting in for three. Three cards, two lands. It's not the worst draw. That's pretty bad, though. <laughs> that is actually pretty bad. Smorphos. Okay. Red, red. Ooh. Five, six, seven, three. Can we just not have another force, please? Sweet. Um, I'm gonna pay with the red. Two, four. Um, not convinced this is gonna be enough. So let's go get right of flame. If they do actually have something, and they're just sandbagging till the absolute last second, like they were last game. Then sure. Um, so we want card in hand for horn, potentially. Okay, so we, we lose the bolts. Certainly lose the double bolts. That's good. Uh, play a creature. Or brainstorm. Trying to surgical? That's awesome. So now we can tap both of these and go to one. Huh. Basically just that if they have something, but they might not. And of course they do. So we have to impulse to hope to hit like pedal right of flame. We did not. All right. That is going to wrap it up. All right. So we started strong and then the wheels fell off. Now nah, we got, we, we punted once and we get super unlucky another time. It happens. That tends to be how magic goes, right? Sometimes you play well, sometimes you play well, except for one mistake that really costs you. Sometimes you make a whole bunch of mistakes, and it just doesn't matter, and you win anyways. Sometimes you play perfectly, and it doesn't matter, and you lose. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the list felt good. It felt uh, just slightly different than regular Ruby Storm, but uh, most of the same strengths and 
still most of the same weaknesses. Um, it seems very resilient and, and felt good against Shadow, just because they don't they don't have reach basically. They don't have bolt, so and they they don't have as many solid threats. They weren't pressuring us as much. Like sure they have Death Shadow. But they have to do some work to get there. So I think on average you have like one additional turn. And they... Since... Like it's great to have discard. But sometimes they lean on it. And they're... They tend to be less likely to have permission. Because of leaning on discard. So... But as you saw against Delver. Um, it's... It's really hard to beat them on a mulligan. Even one mulligan. Um, so then you're kind of forced into keeping these speculative hands. Uh, and you, t you tend to just get wastelanded out of the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I it was fun. It was a blast. Sorry I got a little bit tilted at times, but uh, <laughs> hopefully next time uh, that won't happen. But see you all in the next one. Peace out.